If you click on this video, it's because you want to know how to start saving money fast and you want to do it now. Today, I will be sharing with you how I managed to start saving money each month. I came from being a broke student, living month by month and in debt, not being able to save anything to a full-time employee that currently is able to save between 25 and 30 percent of my monthly net income and for some people that is not that much but considering that the average millennial is able to save 7.5 percent of their income i consider my number to be pretty good it can be very difficult to actually save money it's easy to say and do it but actually doing so may be quite tough actually seeing that money in the bank account not everyone can do so prices are going up and it's becoming more tricky for you and to me to be able to keep up with them. You want to save for a holiday or even to have an emergency buffer. But the current economy is not helping. But you know what helps? If you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me as a creator and helps me to know that my content is heard and useful for you. In this channel we talk about finance and I try to teach you how to make smarter financial decisions, to live a happier and healthier life, or simply to spend your money in the things you want and not being worried about trying to make ends meet. But let's dive right into it. There are a few ways you can start saving money right away. It actually comes up to three main principles. Planning, budgeting and following through. You first need to set a goal. A place where you would like to be in one month, three months, six months one year and if you want to make even bigger plans three to ten year plans just general ideas either you want to be able to be financially independent be multimillionaire, or you actually just want to be able to take your family on holidays please plan ahead or you just want to have an emergency budget this is basically your starting point of where you want to be in a couple of years now you set your goal whether that is being financially independent, rich, or you just want to have a nice cushion for you to lie on when things turn south. And the next thing you will want to do is set up a budget. This is basically a monthly budget where you are able to track your monthly income on monthly expenses. It will allow you to see how much money is coming in and how much money is coming out. This is crucial to do. Because if you don't know how much money you have coming in and how much money you have coming out, you will be having big troubles on saving. It all starts by knowing your income and expenses. You can do this with both an Excel or a Google Drive document, or you could basically go old school with pen and paper. Just do whatever it's easier for you to go back and revise every now and then. Once you create your budget, you will need to create specific goals. Mainly this means how much you want to save on a specific month. Start by making tangible and doable goals. Maybe it's 50 bucks a month, maybe it's $100 a month. Maybe you can and want to save $1,000 a month. Just set something that it's not too big or optimistic and that you can, actu you can actually achieve and realize and that you see yourself committing to every single month for a few months, no matter what amount that is. It's better to start with $50 a month and after two months build it up to $100 and continue increasing it to whatever your goal of saving is. Let's say you're, for example, that your goal is to save in six months by saving, I don't know, 1000 a month. You rather start small and build it big rather than start big and then getting frustrated because you are not able to save the amount that you said you wanted to start saving. Before, I mentioned you should create a budget. This budget will allow you to see where your money goes away. Let's say that you are spending $100 on subscriptions, including Netflix, Disney, etc. And you only use one of these. You might want to find a way to cut on these subscriptions. Essentially, this will allow you to cut on your costs that you already have and are spending. This is not only the only type of subscription you will want to unsubscribe from. You will also want to head over to your email and check how much spam you receive with discount codes for SARA, H&M, deemed from Amazon, you name it. Sometimes your simple power of will is not going to help you against a team of specially trained people that tailor ads and sends them to your inbox with the sole purpose of clicking and making you spend. So cut on those on sort of subscriptions too. Once you cut on these subscriptions, especially the ones that directly affect your credit card or bank account, you might want to generate an automatic payment to your savings account worth the money you just decided to save. Whether that is $10, $50 or even if it's 100 
Well, if it's 50 after a whole year, for example, you will end up having $60, and that was money that you were spending on probably unnecessary subscriptions. Now, I'm going to teach you a pretty good trick I usually do, and it's called the 7 day rule. This trick is a mind playing game that is usually used and works like wonders, with items that are expensive, and I'm not talking about overpriced pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, which by the way is super expensive, but more like items like a new car or a new laptop. Instead of buying it straight away, you give yourself 7 days to think. After 7 days have passed, you answer 3 important questions. How do I feel about this item now that the 7 days are over? Does this item make sense to me? How does this item fit in my budget? If you feel good about purchasing the item after 7 days and it aligns with your budget, you should proceed with making the purchase. Otherwise, I would think it twice. You will find that a lot of times you will forget about the item you actually wanted to buy. Something that worked for me and will definitely work for you is ditching your credit card. Buying on credit is just a promise on the future of money that we don't know, we don't have. And getting credit card is probably the most expensive debt there is, which has incredibly high interest rates. Sometimes credit card can help with a minor spending or even having a few subscriptions here and there. But once we cannot make a credit card payment, it's not worth. Instead, try buying with debit. That is immediately available cash that you already have in your bank account. Instead of buying with future promises, you buy with already earned money. This will help you decrease your debt and spending down by hopefully a lot. Another way you can save money is by stop buying A-level brands and instead replacing them by store brands. A-level brands can be like Kellogg's or Coca-Cola. Instead of buying these, you could well replace them by the supermarket brands. And this way, you could be saving quite a few bucks. Usually store brands are like two as cheap as a level brand. What actually happens is that you are paying for the brand rather than the product. A way to save money is by not buying super expensive clothes. They are meaningless and most of the times people don't recognize the difference between a cheap t-shirt and a really expensive one. It may well be that your closet is full of clothes that you haven't worn in a long time. Think twice before you buy. Perhaps even implement the 7 day rule for expenses and this way you will be saving more money at the end of the month. Now for the last and probably an obvious one, to save more money you need to make more money. There is no way around it. And before you go into the comment section and tell me, oh yeah, give homeless homes, then they are not homeless anymore. Let me explain what I mean. There is only a limit down on how much you can actually save from cutting on expenses, but there is no limit on how much money you can actually make, and probably are already looking for that, trying to make more money. Everyone gets to a point where you cannot cut on expenses and save more money, and it's at that point you should shift your efforts from cutting on expenses to actually start building up something that you can eventually bring you more money home. And there are a few ways you can do this, by for example, getting a new job. Getting a second job, it's if it's that what you want, asking for a raise, or even starting side hustle next to your job. And if you're looking for side hustles, you can start. I actually made a video on some side hustles. You can start with no money right now from the comfort of your home. <laughs>